Welcome back to what apparently is going to be part two of my uh, pulling video for EX Cloud. I uh, went to go look at my screenshot, and apparently you can't do that while recording on this because it stops it. So um, this is just going to be part two, but I used that opportunity to uh, clean up some space. And this will be my second and probably last pull because I do want to keep a fair amount of jewels on me in case there's something better that comes up that's more guaranteed. So this will be my second pull and you're gonna quote me on this that I will not pull again at least for a while and we get another um, not guaranteed cloud. Another Ursula. Oh. oh, Of all the rotten things of course one of the ones I did not want. <laughs> and of course He's got glorious three dots on him. Zexion, I think I need. Smee is nice to do a trait roll. Got her for the first time. Shiki. Strength three tiers for three attacks. Oh yeah, these were like illustrated Bell and Beast, but like the lesser version. And to troll me again, I pulled another regular cloud. And Atlantica Sora, I think I need. It's a pretty trash pull. Pretty sad. I should have just stuck with my first pull, which I was pretty happy with. So. Uh, let's see. What did I get myself here? Smee. No traits. Let's do this one real quick. Since. We can do some rolls here. Traits. And then I'll probably go to the internets and see what people are pulling and see that there are people that maybe pulled him on like the first try. And I'll be sad that I did not. I said I won't pull again, and I'm not going to pull today. I'm going to wait. Because, to be honest, I may pull again. I may. But I don't want to go too overboard right now. You got max gauges. That's not bad, considering he costs four. And around this area... Oh, there's my first pull of her from the last one, and of course I won away from guilting Boss Marluxia. <laughs> Look at this. And he's got strength on him. 13 hits with no attributes. That The no attributes medals, they kind of, I th think, have been outclassed by... Um, no attributes, where am I going? Versus attributeless, I think it is. Let's take a look at. Oh, that ignores targets' attributes. Those are the ones that are really, really good. The ones that have no attributes, they s kind of are bad. I think King Mickey is one with no attributes, but that one was actually pretty good. It was AoE. So, sadly, we can put another trait on my bar my boss Marluxia and just be one away. If I had pulled one more of him before, then that would have been perfect. I would have at least said, oh hey, at least I got it hit guilted, but I'm one away and I will, will not broom that metal. Sleep resist, okay. Well, that was a disappointing second pull, but let's look through here and see what else I can do real quick. Zexion, I think. Are we in a guilt campaign? No, we're not even in a guilt campaign, so. 
Those are definitely risky. I'm pretty sure we're not. No, where are you going? I just want to look for science. Yeah, we're not in a guilt campaign, but... Oh well. Traits are good on this anyways, and he's got kind of a low guilt, so... If I can at least get him above 70, I'd be happy. Plus, I need to free up space, so... I don't want to spend jewels on storage. He's got damage and raids, which I actually have a lot. A lot of reverse magic that have raid damage, so I think my Demix has the same thing. Okay, 76. I got it into the range of a guilt campaign, so if I ever pull him again, then I'll probably wait until we're actually in a guilt campaign. Ooh, strength. There we go. He might be pretty viable. Single target enemies. Oh, what else did I pull? Donald. Oh, he's too close to do it right now. King, Mickey, and Vivi are pretty close. Oh, not that close to... If it's only within a few percentages, I really don't want to roll it just to roll it. Unless I have a decent chance of at least getting it more. Forty-one percent. Um, eh, no. At this point on, I'm trying to think about keeping some medals with some of the trait or um, status effect resistances because there are going to be some instances later on where you will need that. And it will help, but not really at the moment. King Mickey, 42. I'm kind of just trying to fly through this. He looks like he had defense, which I don't really want. 42. Is he at 42 or 41? Uh, probably 42. I think it was 42. All right, well. My trait rolls have been pretty good. I won't do... You're only two away. My first one of you... Okay, yep, definitely needed those Soras. But I have ground enemy defense on him. Pretty good skill to get on that right off the bat. We'll take him to full. Poison, nope. Let's just evolve him, why not? Another space in my album completed. Did my Lark scene. Uh, you have a queen, you have strength already. Not really looking to roll you. Yuffie. This is another... Oh, this is a fixed damage metal. This one's pretty garbage. I don't think fixed metals have really even been necessary for, like, really long time. 
and especially now that they changed up the uh, ground, well I guess the ground enemy defense down, if you use any of those metals that have it, you can defeat the eggs in a swipe, because they will actually do damage now instead of just one. So that's a nifty little tidbit, just in case you did not know. 41%. 43, okay. Defense versus gauges. I mean, are we going to really need the defense if we use her? Why not? Thinking about it too much on a metal that I'm never going to touch. Let's see. Tifa. What is Tifa has defense. We don't want that. That's an attack boost one. Versus paralysis. She costs three. So my Mulan has extra attack, which... On her, it really isn't that great unless I was planning on putting something on there, like a status effect skill. I mean, like triple threat if you wanted to just throw it on a random, not farmable metal, but metal that's like kind of trash, just if you want to use it. Mulan would be a pretty good candidate, because I think she costs only one, and she's AoE, so... She's not really that great. It's a very low multiplier. She's probably one of the original um, tier. She's tier two or three. Poison. Nah. Eh. Just keep extra attack. She's tier two. That's right. Yeah. Um, clearing up space. I'm under my space limit, but let's just glide through here. See if there's anything else I want to do before I wrap this up. Can't seem to get more playing cards from multiplayer. Um, cloud. I got another cloud, of course. So, just to wrap up, I guess... Um, they did a pretty decent job on this banner, making it not too terrible. Um, I'm sure the rates of pulling Cloudy X are pretty bad. But at least getting an orbed metal is good, because if you really think about it, even though I pulled a three-dotted Boss Marluxia, that basically means I pulled four premiums out of that. So at least it's a little better value, and my previous pull, that means technically I pulled two Ursulas, even though I can't use those to trait. Strength, wow, this is appearing a lot right now. So we're going to put that on him, for the off chance we ever have to use him. Oh, beast. Aerial enemy defense. See, like, if it's fixed damage and it has this, does that increase the fixed damage on aerial enemies? I don't know. It's a good question. So, if you know that answer, let me know. And also, uh, if you pull, let me know how long it takes you if you get Cloudy X. Best of luck, because everyone will indefinitely need it. And if you have any comments, suggestions, put them down below. Like, subscribe. If you like this, I'm going to try to post more um, thought videos let you know what I think about certain things. Overall, um, the Cloud Banner, pretty good, pretty decent, but it is it is passable. But if you're really like hoping that you'll get it, um, I mean, give it a try or two if you've got extra jewels. If not, try to save some, like I'm going to try to. I know it's super tempting because I can almost pull again three more times, but then I'll be empty. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.